I just got done talking to my homeboy about, uh, what is it called? Is it called DJ Vlad? Um, is this hip-hop YouTube channel. They interview rappers and porn stars. And a lot of people are kind of outraged and they really get annoyed with it when, when uh, this YouTube channel brings out porn stars. I forgot the girl's name, but... God, I, I really hate her, man. I really hate her, man. This is why porn isn't for black women, man. Because it, it just, it's just so embarrassing to hear this shit. And I, I, was, I couldn't watch it. To be, I couldn't watch it. You know, after 50 seconds, I was like, I, no, it, I, it was actually after the, the first five minutes, five seconds. I was like, okay, I'm good. I let that pl thing play for like 10 minutes, man. I almost threw up. I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal with um, stupidity. And I'm just gonna talk about the first five minutes. I, I am not gonna. I'm not gonna try to bring up the other segments. This one just took the cake. This one. I, I thought the interview with Pinky and the other bitch was enough, but God, I can't. I can't. I can't with this bullshit. Let me elaborate. Um, so the dude who interviews everybody, um, he was talking to this porn star, this black porn star, and he asked her, like, when, when did you lose your virginity? And she said, um, she said it casual, too. She was like, um, when I was 13. And then the dude was like, oh, okay, uh, that's reasonable, that's average. And she was like, well, yeah, um, the thing is, is like, um, you know, I was in a relationship with my boyfriend for like a year. Bitch, you're only 12. <laughs> what relationship? Like, what dating? You're only 12. Back. You was only 12 back then. What serious relationship were you in? And, and this, is, this is the problem that I have with black men who are talking. And she's not attractive to me, but obviously to most black men, she would be attractive. And this is the problem with black men dealing with attractive females is that they accept their baggage with the quickness. You know when you hear some shit about a girl having sex, losing her virginity at 13, to me that's a red flag. And the only time I would feel like if, like, that would be like somewhat acceptable, acceptable, if like if it was a case like okay she was raped she was molested and then you you kind of like okay back down and be like okay I understand you 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 lost it you know unfortunately but come on man you know she this you know this porn star man she she just gave it up willingly to to some stupid nigga and I'm like thirteen. You know, that, that's too young. I, I, I'm irritated with the dude because he just sits there and be like, oh, yeah, that's average. That's reasonable. And a lot of people in the comment section was commenting like, what the fuck? Reasonable? 16 or 17. That, that's reasonable. What the fuck? 13? 13? What the fuck? That's a hoe. That's a hoe. And you... You, 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 some of y'all niggas be so scary to say anything. You be so scary to, to put standards and be like, that ain't acceptable though. And if it was me, I would just say, just straight up, hey, that's not acceptable. I can't say that's average. I can't say that's reasonable because if I have a daughter, I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell her. I'm not going to say that having sex at the age of 13 is reasonable thinking about sex wondering about sex that's reasonable but doing it completely like you know how to do it nah 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 that, that that's that's not acceptable this is why black men need to stand up and stop being afraid of these women cutting you off you know Niggas all of a sudden now are too scared to say shit because of this slut shaming, anti slut shaming movement. 
you know. That, that's, that shit is not acceptable, man. I, 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 the minute I was thinking that, I was like, man, I hope this nigga ain't got no daughters because that shit ain't right. And you know damn well how, you fe- how would you feel and react if you saw a nigga in your house, in your house with your daughter, knowing that she's way underage. She's way underage. Niggas just ain't got no sense nowadays, man. Way underage. Niggas niggas just ain't using no common sense, man. This is why there's no structure in the household, even when there's men in it. There's still no damn structure. You know, that, that's my problem with, with shit. Because you have dudes who are just too afraid to say anything. Too afraid to put their foot down and say like, hey, this shit is not acceptable. This is why I'm uncensored. This is why I don't get all bent out of shape about losing female friends or not having the popular opinion or vote. I ain't living for other people. I, I ain't caring about, you know popularity, your acceptance. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not worried about stupid shit like that. You know, I I ain't worried about, you know, being accepted or being the coolest kid on the block. You know, we we really need a um a code of conduct, a code of conduct, so we won't have to be dealing with ratchetness, dealing with stupidity, dealing with all kind of bullshit. You know, I, I just can't, I just can't see this dude having a daughter and just telling her that, hey, oh, that's acceptable, that's reasonable, that's average. Every day I wonder, like, damn, how the hell is this generation going to be good parents? How the, how the hell are they going to parent their children? Because if they're, st- if they're saying dumb shit like that, these kids ain't got no hope. These kids ain't got no hope. So I'm just kind of like, you know, there better be something... There better be something good that's going to happen. There better be some kind of awakening that can get black folks up. Because this shit is unacceptable. And the thing is, when you allow females to do stupid shit like that, My bad, I just had a text. Some girl was trying to tell me that crump, that, that, um, not crumping, twerking is, uh, is an African tradition. I ain't got time to be debating that crap. And that reminds me, I do have to make that video about, uh, Melissa Harris Perry co-signing, um, twerking, which was hilarious. Epic fail. Um, but like I was saying, you know, if you keep allowing females to have sex, r- reckless sex, you allow females to make stupid sexual decisions, you're going to have a lot of those crystal, crystal valentine, you're going to have a lot of those, uh, you know, Aaliyah jihads walking around, making poems, talking about how they were sexualized by black men how black men are so wrong and how abusive they are you keep entertaining that shit you keep entertaining that shit and that's what's going to happen because these females are going to back going to stab you in the back when when white feminists give them give them the gun or the ammo i should say so black men need to be careful with allowing black women to do to to be doing that whole shit they need to be very careful 
Boy, I better not see no black man talking about slut shaming is bad, you know, or that, you know, we have no right to talk about female sexuality. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry about the language and all the cussing, but it, it, it's just that, that that's what it's going to create. So that's why we got to speak up. So like, hey, you know, you shouldn't be worried about sex at the age of 12, you know, because there's guys out there who will hurt you. And, you know, you don't need to be hurt like that. You know, bad things can happen to you. So your safest bet is to what? Just stay in school, worry about playing with dolls, you know, do little girl things. Don't worry about the big girl stuff. You know. Instead of just co-signing and be like, yeah, yeah, she young, yeah, yeah. She young, but she ready, though. It's you gonna you gonna mess shit up, man. You you, you 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 the dude who's interviewing that old girl, dude. You better stop. You better stop with that shit. That's how Crystal Valentines get created. That's how they get created. You need to stop that shit. Making a bad look. Doing it, making a bad look. Cause we 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 ain't got we ain't. Because some of these black females, especially those in the business, will will backstab you. These females will easily turn around and say, hey, um, black men, I've always been the sexual toilet for black men. I've been abused. I've been mistreated. I've been sexualized. And you're going to be looking like, what are you talking about? You was giving up to everybody without a question, and somehow I'm the bad guy? Better pay attention to how quick black men get vilified in America. I'm just saying, that's why... You know, you can't, you can't be a bad guy for saying, hey, I want black women to, uh, to wait. It doesn't even have to be till marriage, but at least wait. You know, wait till after high school or wait till you're 18 or 21. Wait as, as long as possible. But, you know, that, that's all I got to say.